Hey guys, today we're talking about the Gila Monster. These lizards are called monsters for a good reason. They have venomous bites. Gila Monsters mostly use their venom to defend themselves from others. I think Gila Monsters are just sweet. So I don't know what those guys are talking about except for these nails. If I had a Gila Monsters pet, I would definitely paint their nails. I mean, wouldn't you? Gila monsters move slowly, so they pose very little risk to humans. However, let's get our facts. What different stuff? Some people keep gila monsters as pets, which is a bad idea because eight people have died from gila bites. Too bad for those people. They should have been faster. Gillas are slow moving desert lizards that prey on birds, eggs, and bugs. Like other reptiles, these lizards can use their tongue to sense food around. When they flick their tongues, they are tasting the air. So usually when snakes have like forked tongues like this one right here, it usually means that they can smell with their tongue. I didn't read that out of the book. I'm kind of smart about these guys. Many venomous animals prefer to scare their enemies away rather than having to fight them. Gila monsters have black bodies with bold patterns of pink, yellow, or orange. These warm colors, these warm predators that lizards, the lizards are venomous okay reptile bites how scary seriously i'm pretty sure that blood stuff is not that necessary so length 19 inches 50 centimeters habitat deserts where south western u.s and mexico weapons sharp teeth and venomous bites I don't know if I read this part yet. Mexican beaded lizards are also venomous bite. It has large claws to dig burrows where it hides. It uses venom to seduce prey as such as birds and small mammals. It bites its bite has believed to be harmless to humans. Okay, I think I read everything. Okay, so next time we will be talking about the anaconda. So, yeah, he's cute. I love snakes, they're awesome. So, bye guys!